Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am making this video because many of you have shared with me that you are interested in making your own YouTube channel and I thought that sharing my experience could be helpful for you if there's something getting in your way, whether it's like you're nervous to or you aren't sure where to begin. I will tell you a little bit about my story and then I will tell you I have my top four tips to get started. I'm not sure how deep I want to get into the story, but I never, I didn't start thinking that I was, it was something that I was going to be a big YouTuber and I was going to make a lot of money. I did not start my YouTube channel for that reason. I actually had gone through a really, really hard time a few years back. And in that hard time, I had gained weight and I had gained over 40 pounds. When I realized how much I had gained and, gained and I was ready to work on it, I started to catch on that there was a really amazing, supportive community on YouTube for weight loss and I wanted to be a part of it. I made my first video. If you go back and you watch it, you will see that I was an entirely different person and I was even doing better at that time. I said I went through a really hard time. Maybe one day I'll do a story time about it. I joined YouTube to find a support group and I started out as a weight loss channel. And the way I gained any subscribers at that time was I would search weight loss journey and I would find other people who did very similar videos that I did. So I would leave a supportive comment and I would say, let's support each other, share the love, let's, you know, let's do this. And I got my first probably 50 to 75 subscribers that way and people would do the same thing to me. I would get a lot of people who would come to my channel and leave a similar comment. Renee Riffle, Mama Bear Keto, she's one of them, hi. I think I got her channel name right. Go check her out. She looks amazing. She has done such a good job transforming herself. And then also Tabitha English, she has branched out, she still does weight loss stuff but she's branched out into organizational and cleaning and, and whatnot. That was how I got my first 50 to 75 subscribers or so. And then what happened was I got engaged. So I started to branch out just from weight loss to wanting to just pamper myself, work on my beauty routine, and I caught on that there were subscription boxes. I had heard of Birchbox years before, but now that I was going on YouTube more and more often, I started to see all these subscription box videos, and I ended up subscribing to FabFitFun and Cosbox and Globin, and FabFitFun has turned out to be my favorite, obviously, because that is where my channel kind of lives these days. and. It, my channel organically started to move into beauty stuff, especially as I approached my goal weight and my wedding. I ended up naturally and organically going into beauty and skincare and hair care. One thing that I noticed when I was getting into FabFitFun, somebody, I was in the community forums, somebody commented that Dr. Brand tested on animals and my whole world just opened up. Well, my world was already opening up because I had never explored beauty and cosmetics and all that beyond drugstore. And and now I was I was learning and trying out all of these higher end things and I was starting to feel so pampered and it, it just helped so much with my self-esteem. This this whole thing, it's YouTube has helped with my so self-esteem immensely. I had no idea that animal testing was still happening in the cosmetic industry. No clue. I I just was completely oblivious. And then I started to catch on with it there are very toxic ingredients still in, in cosmetics. And so my my investigative brain started to learn more and more about that aspect of this thing that is making me feel so pampered and happy and confident. And so then it branched, so it had branched into beauty and now it's branched into learning more and sharing knowledge about uh, beauty w world. I have met so many wonderful women. I am still on here because I just love meeting all of you and the amazing amounts of support on this platform. That's how my, that's the evolution of my channel. I gained my first 50 to 75 subscribers or so in my weight loss journey and then I discovered subscription boxes. I subscribed to FabFitFun and when I started doing FabFitFun unboxings, that's when my channel truly started to grow. And then when I started 
doing the informational videos about the products, that's when it started to grow even more. I received my spring box so early. Had I known that video was going to get so much attention, I would have put more effort into it. I don't think I edited it. I didn't make sure the lighting was good. I have four tips that I decided are kind of the most important for where to start if you just want to start. The first tip is to just start. Just it, You don't need fancy equipment. Just start. Just film a video be okay with it and upload it and see what happens. And then, like what I was saying is find other people in your niche, as they say, you need a niche, and you do, it's true. You need a specific topic for your channel, especially in the early days. Find people and, and go to their channel, watch their video, and genuinely want to watch their videos. Don't just go and be like, watch the first two seconds and leave a comment and then say, come share the love. Watch their videos, comment on something in the video, and then say, hope to stay connected. I mentioned don't worry about fancy equipment. I My first video was on my really, really old MacBook. I used Photo Booth. I just used the application that came with the computer to film myself telling my story and I uploaded it from there. I did not edit. The lighting was terrible. I think that it froze a couple times and I still had people engaging with me. Uh, the next thing is don't try to be like anyone who isn't you. I see a video like Tati's or somebody who's a little more comparable to me would be Jen Loves Reviews because she does dive deep into, she's more ingredients focused. I love them, but I am not them, and I, I'm me, so I'm making my channel as myself with my own personality. So you can take inspiration, but don't try to be like anybody else but you, because there's already a Jen Loves Reviews, there's already a Tati, but I'm the only Kate Costlove. So I uh, just be yourself, definitely be yourself, you are amazing, you are lovable, just be your lovable self. And then the last thing is uh, definitely, you, this is actually probably the, other than just starting, this is probably the most important thing, is make it about a topic that you are passionate about. If you are passionate about making paper dolls, make a channel about making paper dolls. If you do a channel about something that you aren't so passionate about, but you think that that's what people wanna see, you're gonna hate making those videos because you don't really care about the content. And if you don't really care about the content, nobody's gonna wanna watch it because you'll seem dispassionate. So make it about something that you are passionate about, something that excites you because then you will be exciting to watch. So those are my main tips. I hope this was helpful. Maybe one day I will do a little bit more story time about how much this has truly helped my self-esteem and my speaking abilities. I watch myself and I realize, oh wow, I didn't, I never knew I had that mannerism. I should stop that. I, I am happy to try to answer more questions if you have any. And if you are thinking about making your channel, just start. You will learn as you go. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.